Okay, now I'm live on here. I'm waiting for my son to get home from uh, school. And I'm in a preaching mood today. I've been all day and I've been thinking of some things. And now I just feel like talking because, you know, the only way to keep yourself safe. And I always feel like I'm in under the gun for some reason. Or I'm being watched. And, you know, I, I like to... The only way to keep yourself safe is to preach to the world for, you know... Your, your things you're thinking and talking about. Oh, my son's home. Hi, baby. Hey. You're on my radio show. Yeah. Hey, there's something I note on the door. That, that's weird. I'm not going to go into that. You asked, we listened. It's time. Oh, I got to wave out to them and let them know that you're home, baby. I'm on my radio show. I'm doing now my phone, the podcast thing. Are they gone already? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought they'd wait to uh, see if uh, the wave first, usually. Yeah, this is a... Want to say hi, baby? It's just audio. It's not video. It's it's a podcast. It's like a radio show. But it's live on the air right now. Okay. See the little thing? And people can go on my, my YouTube channel and my, my uh, Eve of Release Facebook page. Uh, it, it broadcasts Hello. live to that to listen. Yes, this, this, this is Christopher, my son. Hello. It's Christopher Josh McD- Joss McDermott. I say Josh by accident sometimes because I got a I got a little tongue overbite thing going. Oh, you do what it's you're Joss. doing. It's Joss. Oh, you do what you're doing. What's that, baby? I said, oh, you do what you're doing. Yes, I'm doing it because it's fun. Yeah, it's you should fun. do it too. I have to have a little bit of a radio voice when I talk, though, because if I don't enunciate and speak clearly, people have a hard time understanding. So I'm talking slower and trying to enunciate, which I'm not very good at. And I'm trying to stay lively, so if I seem like I'm acting weird, it's because I'm trying to stay entertaining to these people that may listen someday. Do they even still sell radios? Yeah, they got radios in the car. Howard Stern, he's still, he's my favorite of all time. I mean, he's the only one I've ever liked on radio. Just like Eminem is kind of like the only rapper I've ever really liked, but there's been other ones that have come along. But yeah, certain... um, what was it? What was? Uh, yes, yes. So it's, it is. Radios are still in cars. Okay. People listen to radio when they work, especially. I even know when I worked, I used to listen to Howard's on Sirius Satellite Radio. And when I used to listen, when I used to work, you can't do anything. You can't watch TV while you're working. You have to take your, you know, your eyes are busy and your hands are busy, but you can still listen. And that's why radio is important because everybody has to work. One day when you have a job, baby, you're going to realize that, are you okay? I'm being so quiet. I'm, or, I'm not used to people listening to me. This is weird. <laughs> He's listening to me. That's what it is. I'm waiting for him to, you know, cut me off. Uh, but yeah, so uh, when you have a job one day, baby, you're going to be working, you know, with your hands and you're not going to be able to watch TV because you watch TV a lot, you know, and, and I know you don't like doing much more than watching TV, but you'll find that this would be, radio is a very good source of entertainment for you when you're working. A lot of jobs try to keep you from listening to the radio and stuff. I used to just put one headphone, secret earbud in my ear, and they wouldn't even notice it was in there, a little Bluetooth one, and then I could just listen lowly to Howard Stern while I was working, and it got me through work. I mean, the eight-hour day would go by in like a snap, like two hours it felt like, listening to that. So entertainment is very important. Howard's getting old. So, and there's really not many people out there doing it anymore. It's kind of a dying thing, but it's important. I mean, there's other radio people out there, but I just, I haven't found anyone I could get into, so I'm trying to do something new with this. Because since I play music, I'm going to do music and... This and I'll make it all into one big menagerie of entertainment, but all the only for audio, because soon people are going to be doing nothing but working. It feels like. I don't know. You okay, baby? Yeah. He's playing with his uh, Legos this whole time. I'm saying this. Mario. Super Mario. He's yeah, got the he's Mario and saying, Luigi. He's actually saying Lego Mario, but yeah. Is that what he said? Lego Mario. Oh, he said not it's Super Lego. Lego Mario, just he's Lego Mario. Look. No, here, look. You'll probably be my number look. one sidekick on this show all the time. Hold Mush. Up. His nickname is Mush, by the way. Hold up. Hey, hold I'm up. just telling the people. Look, listen. look, here. They're going to listen one day. He does say, look. Yeah. 
He says, Let go of my hill time. <laughs> it is. Why did they replace the word super with Lego? Well, uh, basically, he it starts with two words for super, so they do well, like should be, Lego for should super, be super Lego. Super Lego Mario, I guess it's to me. Super Lego Mario time. That would be wrong. Yeah, they super cut the word Lego super Mario out. <laughs> it's a me, Lego Mario. I'm losing my voice <clears throat> lately. I can't do anything time. anymore. With my singing's even been getting choked up. So. Super Lego Mario. We're walking around the house now. I'm following him around because he makes a good conversationalist background voice for this thing. Each episode's only like 15 minutes long because I didn't get the premium service. So this is going to cut off in like five minutes. But... Yeah. Good singing, baby. Oh, hold on a second. I think I hear... I think I hear the audience is cheering for you. Sing again. Hold on, I, I forgot to turn up the audience there. Hold on, let's see. They're, not, they're cheering for you. They cut off because I got each other. <laughs> audience is cheering. You can't hear them right now, they're cheering, see? Oh, they're really loving you now. It's not loud again. <laughs> I sound like the, I sound like the, after you eat the poison mushroom and it turns into <laughs> my voice. Super Molly Bros. You're so cute. <laughs> I had to give him a kiss on the head. All right. Good job, baby. Oh, hold on a second. The audience is cheering. You can't hear him until I turn off the mic. So. See that? They're cheering for you. I had to turn the mic off to show him that for some reason. It doesn't feel like it. They're out there cheering for you. <laughs> You're so cute. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I thought I had five minutes left. It still says seven minutes left. Okay. So it's a count down, not a count up. I thought it was counting up this whole time. Well, now I'm right in the middle. <laughs> it's 721. Uh, yeah, uh, 15 minute clips, I believe. Yeah, so I was like right in the middle. Good job, baby. I want to leave you alone now. Yeah, he's playing this game Roblox. Roblox creeps me out a little bit because it's like a, uh, a very open source. Um, it's not a bad thing, but it reminds me of like real life for some reason. It's very open source, reality, matrixy type thing. Like maybe it's practice or something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Go ahead, baby. You can have a Pepsi. Roblox is weird anyway because it's too open source. I mean, people make their own games on there, and you don't know what the heck going on on there. But I'm too out of touch with video games nowadays. He's still singing. Hey, you, uh, you're just dying Spons to be an entertainer Square too, aren't you? Pants. I've been Spons that way my whole life. Square. I don't know what it is. I just want to entertain, Spons make people happy. Spons Spons Wonderful, Spons baby. Spons he just Square. loves the camera too. If there was a camera here. If there was a camera Spons here. Spons he'd be right in front of it. Head for, he's very... Pants. He's very... Um, Square pants. Good job, baby. <laughs> He's very photogenic. That's the word I was looking for. He's very photogenic, too. Unlike me, I'm the opposite. So that's why I prefer the radio thing. Like Howard Stern always used to say. He still says. He doesn't like... Well, he's still on... Now he's on TV because he found his good angle. Everybody's got a good angle and a bad angle. I just have more bad angles than most. <laughs> I've got a good angle. Like Howard's got like one good angle, too, he says all the time. But he only he sees it. Well, maybe only I see it. Anyway... I got a, I'm running, now I'm getting winded. I got a cold, I don't know if it's COVID or something else, but I don't think it is. I think I'm immune to it from the, whatever the hell shots they gave me and all that. Um, all right, I think I'm out of talk subject now. Anyways, uh, out of subjects to talk about now. And I have to get in the shower before my wife gets home. She gets mad at me. I have a very stark, starch routine. 
I don't like to not be showered when she gets home. And, I mean, I don't like, yeah, when she gets home and I'm wasting time I could be spending with her because she works all day. And I used to be the working person. I used to work uh, 10 hours a day usually for 10 years pretty much. 10 hours a day for 10 years of my marriage. I'm saying about time with my wife, Kelly. My wife's name's Kelly with an I, by the way. Kelly McDermott and I'm Chris McDermott. That was my son. I'm Christopher McDermott. He's also Christopher McDermott. We have different middle names. His name is Christopher Joss McDermott and mine is Christopher Samuel McDermott because I didn't want him to uh, inherit my bad credit and stuff. So we gave him a different middle name. We didn't make him a junior per se. Everyone calls him junior though. But uh, anyway, yeah, you know, people, I don't know. I just feel like it's very weird. It's hard to explain. I feel like there's always a plot against me, and I don't know what it is. And I know that's what they say certain medications do to people, and I've been on this medication since I was born, pretty much. I mean, literally in the womb, and, you know, came out. You know, it, it, nobody's fault. Just saying it's it's just the way it, it the way the cards fell or whatever, and I'm too... I, I, you know, I have a dependence on that now that medication and I get crucified for it really I mean this is just the way it is and, and I feel like I'm sometimes like I'm uh, I got certain people who are against this fact they don't like they, they believe that my medication is evil even though it's a prescription and there's no reason to believe it's doing anything to change me other than their fear of it and it, it's a it's an option as a scapegoat sometimes i believe for them and i get told i'm crazy when i say how there's sometimes people harassing almost stalking in a way and i i, I i'm not sure what's going on but i did have i don't know if i should get into this on this such a soon episode, but I mean, the bottom line is I had a, uh, I had something, I captured on my iPad that was on there for weeks and it mentioned something that is a type of poison that could be used to kill somebody. I didn't even know it existed. And, and, and I think, I don't know how it got, how I captured it. I was recording music in the other room and then I, 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 uh, caught this by accident, because the Bluetooth, you can connect multiple microphone placements to use multiple mics while you're recording music to get different, um, to get different angles of the same audio, you know, just a, in a room to capture all the, the whole audio field, they would call it, for mixing purposes, and it was in the uh, living room on the other side of this uh, recording studio type closet room thing that I use, and the uh, file mentioned had somebody talking about this whatever the hell it was, uh, sodium dioxide. I didn't even know what it was, sodium dioxide. I looked it up, and it turns out it's an ingredient used to harden cement. So uh, I'm like, what the hell is that? It, it, it can be toxic, you know? It's uh, it's, it's something about it, them putting a gram of it in my wine or something like that, whoever the voices were on there. So I uh, I got a minute left. So I was mind blown by this and freaked out. Because I looked it up, I never heard of it before, and when I looked it up, I found out it's a real thing. So I'm like, how could I know something, uh, how could I hear this thing I never heard of? And they try to downplay it and call it, say it's, it's sodium peroxide and all this stuff. They say, no, sodium peroxide would be one sodium atom and one oxide, oxygen atom. I know a little bit about chemistry and stuff, but uh, sodium peroxide is one per one ratio. So you got a one per one ratio... And then you have uh, sodium dioxide. It's one to two. One salt, sodium, to two oxygen. It's not the same thing. They say this all over the internet. But anyway, I got 10 seconds left. I'm going to cut off now. Yeah, this file got deleted from my iPad a month later, just recently, the other day. And I'll go on more about that later. Bye-bye.